or knife. So the first thing we put in is the cylinder lock. And of course I can't do it. It's not too hot by your head. And the spring, the split part of the spring, the split part of the spring goes to the front of the gun, the muzzle end of the farm. It goes in the corner. Whoa, a third hand. There. You got three hands, Jerry. Yeah, it's in there. Okay. Now, the back spring goes in, and this part is on the top facing back. It goes on this post. Now the hammer. So you pull the hammer, the spring up. That goes all the way down, though, Jerry. That sits here on top. Hmm. We'll do it in a minute. So that goes there, but this has to go above the spring. Okay, now let's get that spring in the right place. You sure that goes? Mm-hmm. It's supposed to go on that ledge. Sit on the ledge. Okay, so that spring is now on top of that ledge. And the trigger works. Okay. Okay, the next piece that goes in is the cylinder post. And that slides in a hole right here, and the vertical piece goes up. That way it slides back and forth. That releases the cylinder, and that holds the cylinder. Okay. The next part that goes in is the trigger. The trigger goes, I mean the hammer, the hammer goes right there. Now, so to get the hammer on, you have to pull the trigger back, slide it down on the post, and this part right here goes under the trigger. Okay? Now we're putting on we're putting on the safety piece and we're putting on the hand and they go on this is the safety piece and this is the hand so the spring goes forward and it drops into that slot Okay. Now the problem is the spring's in the way. So on the hand, the little point goes to the front, goes on the bottom post, no, that goes on the bottom post. This goes on the top post. And you can't put it on a hundred all the way because you got to lift it over this little pin with the spring, and it's all there. Uh, yeah. All right. We're good. So 
if you will put a pin, before you take this out, if you'll put a pin through the hole, it'll help keep the spring at tension and you won't have to fight it putting it back in. So, it goes in the back of the hammer and then back here on the grip, it just slides in. Okay, then we need to pull our pin out. Paper clip works better. <clears throat> so there's this little bitty flat spring that slides into the front of the faceplate. Oops, and it goes flying across the room. Um, I usually put my finger on top of it when I do it. So, okay, and that slides back to this post. There is a keyed piece that slides into the slot that's your cylinder release. Okay? Now when you put it on the on the pistol, when you put it on the pistol, it has to fit on top of this slide the cylinder release okay and it's a little hole on the back see the slotted hole there so you have to push it back to get it on there and once you get that on there now you just gotta fight the gun to get the face plate on Okay. And it'll just snap in when you got it, but you need to check to make sure you pull that back and that cylinder post moves back and forth. Once that's done, there are two screws that go in. The small one goes in the front, and the tall one goes in the back, back here. So I'm going to put those in real quick. This screw will go down flush. This other screw, when you put it down, it's going to tighten, but it's going to stay proud. It's going to stay up. So, that's okay. Now we need to flip the pistol over, and we need to put this screw in. Now, I usually tape these parts together so I don't lose them. So, inside here there are three pieces. There is a screw, uh, so here are the three pieces. Um, there is a piece with a point on it that goes in first. There's a spring and a screw. And what I do is I just drop them in this hole together and then tighten. Okay, now this would work, except for you got to put the cylinder in first. So uh, before you put those three pieces in, you need to you need to reassemble the cylinder and its arm. Um, this spring and the star-shaped thing on the back slide into the hole on the on the arm. This slides in. The end and then you just tighten it down. Before you tighten it down you probably ought to put the cylinder on it. Isn't it amazing how a video will make you nervous? Um, So, you slide the cylinder on, and of course, <clears throat> I 
So put the spring in first, put the cylinder on, then put this, the arm with the star in, and it will need to screw on. It, this fits into a gap on the cylinder, so it's easier just to push it all the way in and then tighten it. And there's the mechanism, ready to go. So now, you're going to slide this arm in. You slide the arm into the, into the frame, and then close the cylinder, and that part's done. Now you flip it over and put these three pieces in that I was so anxious to get in the gun. The little pin goes in first, then the spring, then the screw. Kind of makes a little capsule. You drop that in, and that goes into the little divot on the back of that, lo that loading arm. And then you tighten the screw. Okay, that's the end of that. It needs the grips and uh, needs to be polished and it's ready to go.